Welcome, Virgo Libra, to your mid-month reading for January. Hope you friends are doing great out there. If you friends like this, hit that big old thumbs up and subscribe. Okay, guys. Let's see what's going on with you in the mid-month. Got the Eight of Wands coming out. It does feel like a little bit of a decrease or a little bit of a step back. Um, feels like something has you kind of going down the ladder a little bit at this time. Let's just keep feeling a step back. Where you felt like you were going up the ladder, you feel like maybe I have to come down the ladder or something has kind of pushed you down the ladder a little bit. You might be waiting for that text message that's waiting, that phone call, that message coming in, which has not been, um, hasn't been done yet, right? So it could be that there's some kind of delay going on, kind of pushed you down a little. Foundations and achievements coming in. Really waiting for the foundations and achievements. So if you are waiting for some kind of text message or some kind of message coming through from maybe the landlord, um, something of this nature, it hasn't come through yet. If you're trying to buy a house or move, it hasn't, there's nothing there just yet. Maybe you're moving into a new rental and you're waiting for this person to call, you know, about this situation. Um, if you're going to fix the house or something of this nature, uh, maybe you had to take a step down for a second and put things off. Maybe you don't have the income um, at this time. Maybe you want to save more money. It just feels like you can't move forward in the direction right now. Um, something has kind of come up that kind of, you know, destabilized the situation in some ways, right? Put a delay on it. Getting straight into the situation. The situation is taking place in the present, the recent past, and the near future. Yep, you're waiting for some kind of communication. There definitely is communication. Um, so really wanting this communication from this person, um, whoever it is, your story, you know, everybody's got their own story. And remember, friends, if this doesn't resonate with you, you can always go watch your regular readings, Rising Moon or Venus, um, having the awareness Wow, using a lot of intuition over there. Love that. Prosperity begins in the near future. So I do feel like whatever communication you're waiting for, it's going to come in around the end of the month. It could be around the 20th or so of the month. So having the awareness over here of what it is you really want, really looking at, you know, all the little details. Fully aware. Really using that gun, gut feeling. There's a lot of generosity going on over here. Look at that. Generosity, that this could be a great place for you and the children if you guys have children. Okay, so if you really have, you know, if you have children, I see the children here too. So if you're looking for this new house or this new place, you're really looking for a place for stabilization um, for your kids, but it just feels like it kind of went sour. Maybe you're trying to write this person and it just feels like they kind of ghosted you. They went silent. Um, they're not opening up to you and you're fully aware um, of this situation, that whatever you're waiting for has gone quiet. Where is this communication? I'm still waiting. This could have been over the weekend. Maybe you were waiting for some kind of communication um, in the beginning of the month, and it just hasn't come through. It does look like you are trying to be aware of the situation, trying to tell yourself it's okay, you know, nurturing the situation, nurturing yourself, saying that's fine. Maybe it's going to take a little bit of time. Um, so it does feel... Like where they went silent, you're you're saying that's okay because I'm still going after this dream. I'm just waiting for them to communicate. So it does feel like you're really waiting. Could be with an earth sign for sure or an Aquarius that you're really waiting for um, to call over here. So for foundations and achievements, you might even be looking for that job. Um, however it is, right? With the throat chakra over here, it's definitely listening, paying attention, for some of you, I even feel like you even have that phone in your hand and you're like waiting for it to go bzz, bzz. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, hurry up. Literally carrying that thing everywhere because you are waiting for the message for the service of this earth sign. So it definitely feels like you are dealing, the majority of you are dealing with the earth sign. Spirit's going to let us understand that the person we're talking about is going to be the earth sign. Um, definitely waiting for them to come through. That just takes, feels like it's taking a long time, right? 
even though it might not have been that long for a lot of you, could have only been a couple of weeks, it's really playing out like impatience, right? Because I really want this. Um, and when you really want something, you're really waiting for something, it does feel like it's much longer. It feels like time is standing still. Cut for some of you, it feels like you've been waiting since the last new moon. What? Or full moon, I'm sorry. The last full moon. Maybe new moon too, right? You're like, yeah, new moon in December. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, for some of you, it feels like it wasn't very long. And then for some of you, I'm seeing this moon over here and it's like, that wasn't very long ago. We just had a full moon, but... Some of you, it even feels like, no, nah, I've been waiting since December. What the? What the? Man, that would be a long time. However it is, it feels like a long time waiting. Whether it's through impatience or just that's just the way it is. It's got you kind of at a crossroads because it feels like you can't move yet until you get this message. I can't move. I just feel like I'm immobile. I can't really do anything until this person calls. Yeah, it's delayed. They're definitely delaying the situation. But you know you got this. There's something deep within yourself that you know you have this. You're just waiting for it. Maybe they're wait you're waiting for paperwork to be signed. Maybe you're waiting for this boss to tell you that this is more have training. This is more do something. Something because you're saying there is a delay in my hope and promise. There's a delay in this situation. I'm waiting. Yeah, there's a lot of stability going on, but it's not moving the way you want it to move. They're not moving. So it's kind of like, I want you to move, and you're delaying my service of getting this done as I'm waiting for you because you're delaying your service to get things going. So definitely showing a delay here, which is causing you a delay. See, that's what's crazy. So not only is it, are they delaying it, but it also is making you delay something as well. So if you were leaving a new job and you want to leave this job, I'm sorry, not a new job. If you're leaving your old job, you don't want to leave the old job until you know you have the new job. Something like that, right? Or maybe you already put in your two weeks notice because they said you have the job, but you're supposed to wait for that training but you can't move, you can't do anything. Yeah, for some of you, it even feels like, you know what, until this new job comes in, I can't even pay my rent. I can't pay my bills. So no matter what it is, it's making you delay something as well. Do you see what I'm saying? So they're holding you up from doing something as they're being held up. Why are they being held up? It looks like because maybe the bigger boss Feels like they're in a delay as you're in a delay. That's, wow, that's crazy. They're not moving. There's their fence setting. That's, you know what, that's it. That's it, that's exactly what it is, you guys. They're fence setting. They've put everybody on delay and everybody on hold because they put themselves on hold. That's exactly what it is. You got to be definitely dealing with some kind of, uh, kind of Scorpio or a earth sign. It's causing drama and mental issues within yourself. And the drama is, is within yourself, right? Because it's causing anxieties. It's causing like nervous nervousness. You're just waiting, waiting for the communication. Hello, where are you? So you're still waiting around in the mid-month, waiting for this, and it is causing a lot of anxieties for you guys because you just want to get this going. You know your foundations and achievements. You know as soon as you get this message, there's a huge blessing coming with it. Where is my message? Why are you fence-sitting? What are you doing? Yeah. And then you got the prosperity begin, so we can only imagine that they finally decided to actually do something to actually answer the phone, actually pick up that phone and actually say, okay, here we go. Now we'll check you long enough. Yeah, finally, here comes the call, the blessing call. Here it is. 
finally your prosperity begins, this is going to take an end. So finally there's going to be an end to all the things that you were doing because the prosperity is going to begin now. And here comes your, finally they're going to message you. Finally they want to, they want to actually do something. You, you're like, yes. Yeah, and they're determined and it's making you more determined because now they're determined to make this your blessing. So what you were passionate about, what you're waiting for is now coming through and you finally have the message that's going to bring in this passionate love, this passionate like, you know, well, this is what I wanted. And now you, you know, where you were clearly able to see before that they went silent on you and not doing what they're supposed to do. Now it brings in more growth because now you feel like you can actually move. You actually can do what you wanted to do before, before they made you sit over here and wait on them for what feels like a million years. Because like I said, you could have had lost income from this situation for some of you, which definitely, right? And impatience also just causes, you know, uh, makes it seem like forever, but it's finally moving in the direction that you want to be in and all the fear and um, inconsistencies and all the hesitations and all that is now gone because finally yeah finally the sun's coming out so finally they're gonna allow this cycle change to happen and you finally can look out and say okay finally and it could have been that you're also they were also dealing with someone else because with the three of coins coming out it could have been like well I'm the realtor and I had to wait for the mortgage person well you know what the mortgage person needs to pick up the base over here they're doing things a little slow right so could have also been waiting on another person as well. Um, Queen of Coins. Yeah, now you just feel very prosperous and you're getting your materialism. And now you actually, you know, feeling the, uh, the foundations and achievements of what you're looking for. Absolutely. You feel more hum-ho. Yeah. Getting rid of that inconsistent emotions that were coming through. The reward deserve reward coming through so yeah everything's going in your yeah everything's coming out in your favor now so where you felt like they were not going to communicate and it was like hello would you hurry up with my four of wands my my you know get this thing going on it's finally yeah tackling things there's a lot of blessings coming in though through this you guys though more blessings upon blessings um that's what's kind of interesting over here i do see this so where you felt like you're going to get one thing it feels like something else is coming in with it in some ways what the heck is that it feels like a blessing upon a blessing definitely absolutely so it's like you're waiting for this blessing but there's like a hidden bless definitely a hidden blessing coming up I see the hidden blessing. Maybe you need some free furniture out of it, like some really cool furniture, though. You know what I mean? Like something that's like, yeah, and I can keep that. <laughs> you know, but it better be cool furniture. I don't want anybody's ready to taggedy stuff, right? Um, I don't know. It just feels like there's a hidden blessing in this. Maybe they're going to throw something in on it. Something is coming along with it. Something that's unforeseen with the high priestess is like it's not, you didn't see it coming. God, blessing, 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 blessing. So your blessings are one, two, three, and four blessings. So don't, you know what I'm saying? This is what you're after. And this feels like this is something new coming in that was unforeseen with the high priestess saying, well, geez, I didn't see that. And I didn't know about it either. And then of course, this is well-deserved rewards with something that's also what wasn't seen or known. I thought about it. I didn't think about that. Wow, thanks. Thanks for the awesome blessings. So it does definitely feel like you're going to get something on top of that. Wow, then the rainbow. Yeah. And definitely some kind of hidden reward coming out of this. I, I don't know what they're throwing in. Maybe your mortgage will be cheaper than you thought it was going to be. Maybe they gave you one price and in the end you realized it was let, you know, much cheaper. Maybe you thought your rent was going to be this high and the new blessing is, it's not, you know what I'm saying? Something like this, like it's something's lower, something's thrown in, there's some kind of deal going on. I don't know. They're going to leave their furniture behind because they said they don't want to take it because they're going too far. I don't know. And it's some like really expensive furniture. not something crazy because that's that's a that's a hidden blessing there's something hidden within that so 
really watch for that. You'll see it. I mean, it's not going to be something that's going to be so hidden that you don't see it. As soon as it comes up, it was just unforeseen. Like, I didn't know that was going to happen. Woohoo! Something of this nature. Okay. So, awesome, guys. Awesome. Let's see what the angels have to say real fast. Yeah, let go of any of the um, anxieties or anything that's holding you back right now because everything's going to be just fine. You're just waiting for the opportunity. Try not to let that, um, you know, get get you in your head. You know, it's right around the corner. There is something better. Now, there's the gift. There's that gift. That's the gift from the universe. That's the that gift that I'm saying, that blessing coming in, that unforeseen blessing. Huh. There it is. Awesome. So, Yeah. That's awesome. Okay. And that, that was it for you, my friends. Until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.